Welcome to You Brew Kombucha. This is your kombucha basics guide to pH. Kombucha is an acidic beverage, and I often get a lot of questions from home brewers about pH and the role that it has on the fermentation process. So just a quick summary of pH, it's basically a scale from 0 to 14 that measures how acidic or alkaline a substance is. Anything under 7 is acidic and anything over 7 is basic or alkaline. Some examples of bases are bleach and baking soda, and some examples of acids are lemon juice or vinegar, and in our case, kombucha. There's this big misconception among a lot of home brewers who think that you can use pH to tell when your brew is done. pH is not a measure of doneness, and it's certainly not a measure of sweetness. So the best way to tell when your kombucha is done and ready to bottle is to taste it. You can check out my video on that for more information. My pH tends to drop most significantly during the first few days of that process. But that said, my brew is still going to be too sweet for my liking, so I will let it continue to ferment longer until it tastes right to me. The pH doesn't really have any effect on that. So is pH useful and why do people even bother with testing pH? So pH can be a really helpful tool for us to use to make sure that our brew is fermenting properly. In a lot of my videos, I talk about how important it is to have good strong starter tea to kickstart your kombucha brewing process. That starter tea is what helps acidify the kombucha right from the get-go to make sure that it's inoculated with a lot of really good bacteria and yeast to get that first fermentation process going. When the pH of your kombucha drops below a certain point, it makes it really inhospitable to bad bacteria like mold and other harmful pathogens. So you can use a pH meter to basically test and make sure that your brew is fermenting properly. Kombucha pH typically falls within a range of around 2.5 to 3.5. And if your brew falls below four within the first few days of that first fermentation cycle, you know you're on the right track. A lot of commercial kombucha brewing operations use pH meters to do exactly that, just to make sure that their brew is fermenting properly and that it's becoming safe to drink. But it's not a measure of doneness. I got a pretty basic pH beater from Amazon and some pH test strips just because I was curious about my own kombucha's pH. And I've consistently found that during the first couple of days of that first fermentation process, the pH drops significantly, but it's still way too sweet for me to drink. So over the course of my week or so of first fermentation, the yeasts will continue to eat the sugars and it'll get less sweet. The pH will also continue to drop, but the drops will tend to be in smaller increments. So if you want to use a pH meter, if you want to use some pH test strips, you totally can. If you're doing it during the earlier phases of your brewing cycle, I just recommend that you try not to agitate your vessel too much, otherwise you could hinder SCOBY growth, but otherwise you can really test the pH at any point of the first fermentation cycle. If you decide to go with using test strips, just make sure that you're getting ones on the lower end of the spectrum. Remember, kombucha typically falls between 2.5 to 4. Just make sure that whatever test strips you get can measure within that specific range. And if you decide to go with a pH testing meter. This one's a pretty affordable one that I just got off of Amazon. What you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you get some calibrating buffer solution to go along with your pH meter, only because you need to recalibrate your pH meter pretty regularly. Buffer solution is basically just liquid that is at a very set pH that you can use to dunk your pH meter in to tell whether the pH meter is accurate or not. If it's not accurate, then you're gonna need to use a little screwdriver that comes with most pH meters to just calibrate it to whatever the pH buffer solution says it should be at. And that's really helpful just to make sure that your pH meter is accurate before you test your kombucha. Just make sure that before putting it into your kombucha that you're rinsing it really, really thoroughly with distilled water. In general though, now that I have the hang of things and I'm really familiar with the fermentation cycle of my kombucha, I don't ever really use my pH meter anymore. Usually the SCOBY growth at around day three or four is really the best indicator that my kombucha is fermenting perfectly. But the pH meter can be a really useful tool especially if you're just starting out, to make sure that your brew is fermenting properly. And it can be really helpful if something goes wrong with your process and you're trying to troubleshoot what might have happened there as well. So I hope you found this helpful. If you want more information, be sure to check out the other videos on my channel. And as always, you can find more details at youbrewkombucha.com. Happy brewing!